Welcome to the lecture. Uh, this is on the symbols in oil hydraulics. In lecture 2, um, we have already discussed about this how the hydraulic symbols are um, built and um, against the components, what is the symbols. <coughs> also, in the last lecture, this earlier to this in the tutorial section, I have also discussed that ISO uh, symbols and uh, the glossary. And here we will show some uh, simplified symbols who are not strictly the ISO standards, but used in industries. Uh, now, um, first of all, uh, we will recapitulate uh, the some symbols that as I have told this is a poppet type uh, check valve, but it is pilot operated. So, that uh, we can make the line uh, through that means, the normally oil is coming from this side and it cannot go from this side, whereas we can move uh, this poppet to have the flow in this direction, so which is operated actuated by a, a in this case it is a armature means it is a solenoid operated. If we move this one in this direction, then oil will grow from this to this. If the oil come from this sides and if you do not move this one, then oil cannot go uh, in the other sides. Okay. And this is a single plate valve and it is a pneumatic valve uh, or pneumatic actuated, not pneumatic valve, may be pneumatic actuated to um, have this 4 by 2 position valve. Okay. Um, and this is um, 4 by 2 position valve uh, and spring return and uh, may be solenoid solenoid yeah it is solenoid solenoid operated and this is just the opposite of this one and in this case uh, this is solenoid operated no spring return no spring positioning whereas some detent positions are there similarly if we look into the rotary actuator which we have discussed earlier that this is a symbol for rotary actuator in the in this case the triangle is not filled means this is for the gas or air that this means that this is an compressor in this case this compressor of two stage in the first stage uh, it is the um, gas or air is uh, pumped uh, with a certain pressure and then in it goes through the second stage and ultimately the output is of uh, high pressure and to make such uh, de develop such pressure in a single stage size of the compressor will be huge. In this case the um, this is rotary pump and hydraulic pump and this is a fixed displacement this is a double pump by a single shaft both the pump is being operated one is of low flow one is of high flow and this has uh, usually um, to uh, of the load when there is a, uh, high flow is required or oh, sorry low flow is required such pump are used or even for low flow both the pumps are work uh, sorry high flow low pressure both the pumps are working and high pressure um, relatively low flow either of this pump is working. So, this is basically used uh, with a proper circuit for energy saving. Now, the we will go for much simpler uh, symbols which are strictly may not be ISO standard, but uh, used in uh, industries. Now, first of all we shall consider the symbols for hydraulic tubes, pipes, hose etcetera. Now, <laughs> this is of course, not the symbol for uh, the hydraulic symbol component symbols rather this is the center line in a system if we would like to maintain a center line usually this line is used 
uh, dashed line is pilot line uh, also this is the sorry the top one is used enclosure outline that means if we uh, sometimes we would say that there are uh, a manifold actually manifold means it consists of a few valves together and sometimes um, the symbols is like that all the sim symbols for all the components like a pressure relief valve direction valves these are drawn separately and then it is put in a in an envelope enclosed by this line this means that it might be an uh, manifold if you look into the component this is just, uh, as if a single component but inside that there might have a, have a directional valve a check valve and a pressure relief valve pressure control valve and so on now this dashed line means this is usually pilot line why usually I would say uh, so this pilot, pilot line. Now, there is a dash, but small dotted line exhaust or drain line. So, um, in a drawing suppose only these two lines are given, you may not be able to distinguish which in is the exhaust and which is the pilot line, but in a drawing if these two lines are used careful study will show that this line is for pilot line and this line for drain line. Now, in very often we will we have to use the line a one pipeline is crossing other while we are drawing the circuits. In physically we can say that these are separate two pipes. Now, suppose a line is like that and a line in some lines are like that. What does it mean? line crossing 90 degree intersection not necessary. This means that this are usually suppose these two lines are crossing each other, but they are not intersecting in that case we present like this or we may present like this that this line is crossing over this line like this depending on which one is crossing over this. But as well sometimes these are presented like this and of course, this is a confusion if we use this one and this one you, we may find we may think that this might be a connected lines, but if these lines are basically not connected they are crossing each other even this one is also like that. If we would like to show that there is a junction point four lines from four direction and connected we should better use this one. This indicates they are actually connected at a point this is a single point you can say where they are connected. This might be also like this this is three point connection is like this. Of course, suppose if we do not put provide this dot and line is like this, this means that this is connected. If we increase the line then there will be confusion whether it is a crossing point or connecting point, but if simply without dot if we mean this the three lines are connected at a point. So, that you should understand and sometimes uh, looking into the components and fun function we shall not confuse that this one either whether is a crossing or junction point this is usually crossing point not a junction point. So, these are for all junction point you can say these few are and then if it is a flexible hose it is like that. Okay. Now, this is a flexible line now, this is usually this flexible line means it, it is um, I would say not the main hydraulic lines this might be even electric lines or some other lines which is flexible, but in a system particularly in hydraulic system if we use this uh, flexible lines it is presented like this. However, while we are making such a drawing then you will find that this line is also a straight line not like this. Huh. 
and while we are mentioning these components, so looking into a line straight line it does not mean whether it is a flexible or a solid line uh, I mean solid conduit pipe only thing we have to mention that component separately, but one can use such symbols. Now, this solid line means usually main line, then <coughs> if this arrow is given this is a flow directions usually a hydraulic medium, why usually if it is filled with hydraulic a uh, sorry if, if this triangle is filled then this is a hydraulic and if it is not filled then it should be air or gas. Now, this is a connected usually this um, quick connector, quick connector or disconnector it is like that called. So, that is symbolized like this say quick connector means usually you will find that when the machine is uh, under operations particularly for training purpose we need to open a line and it is connected and, and again need to connect it. Now, this hydraulic line connections we should must take care so that there is should be no leakage and other things and also in many cases we have to use the ferrule properly pipe connections solid pipe connections in that case to just dismantle that connection and to give a new connection it may take a lot of time. So, instead of that usually such ends are with a flexible hose and a quick connector. What is quick connector? It is like that even if this is under pressure in operating, operating conditions if you connect then these two will be connected first of all in the connections that outer leakage path will be prevented then internal connection will occur to give through passage of the oil from one side to other side. That means, uh, a good mechanics a good user he can quickly connect this connector without a single drop of oil to the outside. Hmm. And the so this already I have discussed, discussed these three lines, and then this is a plug point. If we many in, in circuit, sometimes you will find that a line is there, and then this is a cross. So uh, <coughs> looking into this, we can suggest a plug point. Usually, such plug points are kept. Um, not very often, but time sometimes we can have another system to be connected there or maybe some measuring point. We can put some gauge there and we can measure the pressure etcetera. Now, <coughs> other symbols which is hydraulic connector, check valve etcetera. Now, if in the line such uh, arrows are given then this flow can be restricted <coughs> that flow can be regulated. Now, solid main lines means main lines and this is usually for the pilot lines okay. and uh, this is with a fixed restriction okay. and this one is the flow divider this flow is being divided into two directions. Now, what is there? You can say that any T connections um, uh, can be done, but this divider is uh, uh, designed in such a way there will be equal resistance. Okay. So, if the pressure demand and both the line are same, then flow will be exactly divided into two parts, equal parts. So, flow divider uh, is used for that purpose. Now, this is a throttle valve in that case just a restriction in that case this is throttle fixed or variable adjustment e, these are usually used to control the flow. Now, this is check valve with a spring return this is a check valve without spring return and this is again quick disconnect with check valves 
this one the quick connector and check valve and this is a connected and this is disconnected. This means that in a circuit if we present this one that means that line is connected by quick connector and if we show that this symbols this means that normally it remains disconnected. Now, in this case what we find that this is same as before only thing this is only one check valve is then and other has no check valve. Then this is quick disconnect without check valves there is no check valve ok. And depending on the purpose um, these are used say for example, if we use this one in a line <coughs> then normally what we find that oil from this side cannot move this side and oil from this side cannot move the other sides. Then what is the use of such, such connections? Usually these valves are being operated by an external operation is there pilot operated that means normal condition is a check valve, but if you send a signal through the pilots then it will be connected ok. In this case suppose we do not need such um, pilot operations simply connect and to disconnect then this will be used. Now, filter in the filter I have we have not shown that ISO glossary, but in case of this filter <coughs> or even sim simple strainer filter or strainer we use this diamond like a block this line is the through line and here one dotted lines. Now, in this case this uh, filter separator with manual drain there is this is basically a separator and manual drain is there ok. And this is automatic drain if we put this one automatic drain and if we use this uh, this is filter separator with automatic drain ok and this one oil lubricator with manual drain and this one oil lubricator less drain there is no drain is there I think um, this one one of that should be drain line means dotted line should be there I think. So, and this is oil lubricator with automatic filling this is a cooler cooler when you see this arrow is going outside it will be cooler when you um, this is also cooler, but this is basically uh, it is also shown that some liquid is flowing through why liquid because this arrow are uh, completely darken. Now, when this arrow is going inside then heater uh, just look at the difference between the heater and cooler. Hmm. This is also heater inside arrows indicates introduction of heat. Uh, yeah, it might be like this or it might be like this we can put in any directions these are basically heater. Now, if we look into this <coughs> what we have already studied in IOC symbols and glossary you can see this is a cooler because the arrow is outside the heat is going out. Hmm. So, you can compare with this only thing in this case this is filled and this is not filled that means this is air cooled or something like this. In this case as we find this we can again compare with this one, but we get some additional two lines here and then this must be either cooler or heater and then we can see these are the two components what we can what it looks like. Hmm. This is the main system oil in and out and this is the cooling agent in or out. Now, <coughs> a reservoir may be a simple tank do not confuse with this the accumulator because accumulator will have no line in the other directions and this is a small reservoir 
and these are reservoir. So, if it is it is if it is shown that it is open then it is usually vented no reservoir will will be without any cover there will be cover has to be because when the oil is exposed to the air so more oxidations and more deterioration will be uh, of oil will occur so to prevent that it should be closed but usually it will be vented that means inside if there is a gas that gas will automatically come out when certain pressure will increase. But in some cases we need to uh, this reservoir is pressurized and closed and their venting is only um, maybe it is again regulated by some pilot system, some system signal is there which will vent, uh, a normal venting is not there. So, for that pressurized we can show that the reservoir is like this. Now, this reservoir is buffel. What is buffel? Usually, you will find inside the separator is there. So, first oil is coming over here and then it is going this side. So, many contaminants will remain at this side and suction is usually in the opposite side. So, return in one side and suction in each other sides. And again, such buffels are like that. So, this is connected at the bottom, then you will find another buffel is and, and top portion is clear, oil can flow like this. The next buffel you will find it is connected with the top and oil can flow like this. So, these buffels are used uh, with a one is connected with the top and one is the bottom, so that the return oil when it is coming over there first of all the heavy particles that will be remain here then oil will flow and then it will flow like this then again flow like this by that process first of all the better heat exchange will be there secondly the addition will be removed that mixing of the air that will be removed it will also act somewhat anti foaming and in other sides you are getting relatively uh, stable uh, fluid for again for the suction. Okay. So, um, when you would like to mention that reservoir with buffel is required, you can present like this. Now, <coughs> this is reservoir with connecting lines, the connecting lines are, they are there above fluid level, sometimes the connections are above fluid level and if you show this uh, below fluid level not liver this is this should be level <coughs> now these connections you can show then you can mention here that one is for suction another is for return such things but you should remember in both cases both the suction and suction has to be within the oil obviously but return line also to be within the oil otherwise there will be too much foaming but this is a special case where you are keeping some lines above the oil some pressure purpose okay in that case you have to indicate like this this is air breeding this in that case um, if you present this one the air bleeding is necessary. Now, this you see do not confuse with this a pump other thing this is a pressure gauge with an arrow inside in a circle this is a pressure gauge. Again if you draw a straight line and with these symbols means it is a flow control, but once you present like this these two lines in a circle and this inside it this is flow meter. Okay. Now, accumulator will be will look like this this look at this reservoir and accumulator. If you add one line there that will be reservoir. If you do not add a line there and if you simply put like a balloon then this will be accumulator. This is also an accumulator, but it is a gas charge this side a gas is there. Now, if this accumulator is spring loaded then in that case uh, this line and there will be a spring. Accumulator means that 
um, here this will be gas or air and here the liquid. Okay. So, while we are trying to present an accumulator either you can put simply and you can specify this or if you are um, if you are specific about this to show that this is a gas charge you can use this one if it is a spring loaded you can use this one. Okay. <coughs> now, um, as well we have to um, present uh, the prime mover normally um, you will find in most of the cases this electric motor then you can just put like that E m or if you use that engine then you put m. Engine we call engine, but uh, usually it is also called motor electric motor and um, IC engine is also, also a motor. So, you can specify like this and you can see this this not much difference, but it is a power line usually you will find with a pump sometimes this symbol is given power source oil or air or oil. No, this is a power source with air or oil. So, this will be filled in case of oil or not filled in case of air and whereas, power line this is a line is like this, but very very difficult to distinguish with this main hydraulic lines. A coupling is shown like this. Okay. Then the crossing power lines we have learned earlier we can use this one this is non connective. If you would like to show at a junction point connect what you have to do move one of that slightly right side or left side and show the connection. That means, this is junction point otherwise this is a crossing line, but best way is that you can cross like this or you can cross like this. Huh? Okay. Now, this is a drive shaft not so much meaningful, but this is a drive shaft and rotating coupling is um, designated by this one and this is a on off simplified switch. That means, this on off switch usually uh, not pilot operated, it is normally manual operated and uh, this is just to stop the line. You will find that either it is a just single lever a ball joint is inside, a ball is inside ball with a hole that if you make the line connected to the hole then it is uh, being operated or you just simply rotate in the 90 degree directions it is off. So, this is sometimes used in the hydraulic lines. Now, another important aspect in many cases the color codes are used. Red means operating at system pressure, blue means return line or exhaust flow, green means intake or drain flow yellow means major usually meter flow or control line flow hmm. and then if you use orange then it is uh, uh, reduced pilot pressure uh, reduced pilot pressure and violet means intensified pressure very high pressure and if there is a blank that usually inactive lines that means, this is filled with water uh, sorry filled with liquid, but no pressure is there this is mainly used for hydraulic lines. Now, we have to make this orange and difference between orange and red usually you will find in a same drawing this uh, you can understand the difference, hmm. but where only say suppose uh, red uh, line is there do not confuse with the orange looking into a little uh, study into the components will give you the idea whether it is pressure line or the ordinary line. Now, the then the liver cam etcetera these are designated by as you have seen say this with this double lines with a component say this is the main component with that if this symbol is added what it is this is a practically rectangular box with one line is going outside that is a hand lever. Say 
in in earlier when we are learning the iso symbols and glossary we, i was telling that this extended light means hand lever so this is an indication of hand lever then this is a if it is slightly inclined and one <laughs> line is left side in the, this is a foot pedal and when this rectangular is uh, just rounded the end is rounded then it is a cam follower now if it is a bottom sort of things then it is a roller operator okay now if it is with a symbol like this then it is a lever this a lever is fitted over there now this hand operated means in many cases you will find that lever say a manual valve there a lever is given the lever means that usually one point it is fixed and some intermediate point or maybe the extreme point is there to move the other component the one is fulcrum point another is to move the component so that is lever and hand lever may be that one also so hand lever may includes this hand this type of lever also uh, but hand lever means it is uh, for operation a lever is there it might be a simply shifting or with a fulcrum like that okay such details you have to mention perhaps by writing or showing the detail design <coughs> now uh, this is again uh, this may be this general symbol is that uh, manual it is like that so i think this this line will be completed up to this point but only important is there the other side is extended this line is extended and uh, say this is a cam or toggle it is meant by this one this is again pedal this is foot pedal this is any sort of pedal or treadle so this is indicated by this one and this is push button this and this has a difference if you say this is actually cam roller roller operator and but this one is a push button say a reverse d you can say now <coughs> hydraulic valves particularly direction control valves in that case earlier in second lecture we have learned first of all we can have three icons like this in that icons intermediate one is having zero that means this is the neutral positions a is one operating condition b is another operating condition usually any valve either it will be on off type that means either a or b um, no intermediate positions but in most of the cases hydraulic systems and directional control valve where we need to stop the systems for a while or we need to keep the idle system for a while then there must have a neutral positions so first we can have while we are designing a valve then the middle one is the neutral then a and b and then there are few icons from there we can select say in neutral conditions it might be like this all are not connected so bring this one and put here so we are trying to construct a symbol for dc valves suppose <coughs> it is complete fully open then we can put it here this one we can put here we can have also that only supply line is closed other three are connected that means the two ends of the actuator and the reservoir is connected so the we can take this symbol here hmm. and most popular you will find say suppose this is a closed center keep this one at the center this is a and this is b or or open center keep this one at the center this uh, at one end this is uh, this one at other end so this will give 4 by 3 closed center 4 by 3 open center 
4 ports 3 positions. Now, you can put this one also at the middle sometimes this is put at the middle. Suppose, you can choose this one this is at the at one end and then this is at the other end or this is this one at the this end and this one at the other end. This is for one specific requirements, but most common we will find either with the closed center or with the open center then cross connection straight connection. So, in that way which these two groups of icons we can build several valves. Now, <coughs> say for example, this first one what we have seen the T indicates is going back to tank, P indicates this is for pressure line usually a connected the P means not pump usually pressure line it is called pressure lines A and B two ends of the actuator this capital A and this capital B. You can mention A B or may not mention you can simply make this valve this is called 4 by 3 tandem valve. So, what is tandem that this connection is there that means when it is in the ideal conditions the all will go to the tank without any resistance. In this case what happens this the usually with this pressure lines there is a um, relief valve. So, relief valve is set at a maximum system pressure. So, what will happen in this neutral condi condition the oil pressure will be up to the maximum system pressure and then it will go through the uh, tank through the relief valve. So, it is a huge power loss, but the advantage is that oil is always ready for work and such systems will be closed center is usually um, required for when the very quick stop and on and off on and off we are operating some system like that then this system is preferred. Okay. So, depending on uh, that requirements also we have to select a super uh, s proper valve. Now, this is you see the 6 by 3 DC valves what does it mean in that case say this is neutral position that means there is this oil is actually these two are connected together. The oil is going from this side to this side and it is doing some main system work. What you can do you can give this line that system main system is off and you can divert this for these operations to a only particular size and also you can use this one that when the main system is off. Say for example, this valve you can use for a forklift truck. In the forklift truck main line is going for the hydrostatic transmission system which is moving the car. Okay. Now, you want to lift something once you move the lever first of all your the car will be stopped then it will start operating lifting and while again you are lowering that movement will be off and then this is for an example. So, it can be made like this however, in forklift trucks many times it requires that slight movement of the uh, vehicle when it is being lifted or lowering say you would like to take something from the um, um, rack. So, you have to take it and move out while you are lifting or lowering you have to take out in that case definitely this valve will not be suitable, but I have given an example where the 6 by 3 valves is used. Now, this is 2 by 2 valve so simply it is a on off valve. Now, this is also 2 position, but as you see these 3 ports are there that means, if we consider the main port then main port this pressure port in that case when this pressure port is stopped this oil from the actuator going back to the tank and when you are connecting to this uh, actuator then your drain connection is off. Okay. So, you may need such valve for some operations. Now, here of course, I have shown this valve, but none of this can compare uh, with this one. 
only thing say this is basically 4 by 2 positions valve spring retard and detent solenoid operated forget about the detent part this is 4 by 2 this is one position this is other positions but what we can do by detending we can make the all ports are connected say in a detent position so we can make this one otherwise normally either this or this positions now if we would like to compare with this valve suppose with this connections let us consider this connection is here and these two what is the difference in that case if you leave the valve then automatically this will come back to this position suppose we are using full uh, full open center but in this case it will be full open center only if you use the detent positions that means you have to regulate this actuator in such a way that it will be at the detent positions so it is operating conditions no neutral positions either this position or this position only in detent positions it will be there so for that what is there this you find that this is not a full line whereas in this case this will be full line okay the difference between this and this is there and apart from that these we are using only the showing the valve operation we have not uh, using these symbols that is whether it is spring return or uh, the armature driven that we are not showing that of course always to be added to show the full form of the valve and this is the other one which I have also discussed uh, this is closed crossover oh, this is this one actually this is uh, having also detent now <coughs> 3 by 2 DC valve of different configurations the other configuration and this is this configuration is different you have to depending on the applications you have to select this this is also a 3 by 2 valve uh, ok now 4 by 2 valve have this two this is basically uh, not off either this condition or this say if we connect to a rotary actuator then in that case either it will ro rotate in clockwise direction or anti clockwise directions maybe it is like that this valve is directly fitted to the actuator we are operating this way or that way if we would like to off the machines then whole main line is disconnected by some other valve ok. So, this is as you see this 5 by 2 uh, 4 by 2 5 ported DC valve as you see we have 5 ports how 1 2 3 4 5 the 5 ports but basically this is 4 by 2 valve because we have 2 positions and we use 4 ports. So, sometimes it is called 4 by 2 5 ported valve. Now, in that case the pressure line is blocked in this case the drain is blocked the other cross connections are there from some applications. Now, <coughs> you see this another interesting thing is that these valves as you see this we have not used any arrow here not to show any directions, but say suppose if we take this block that means basically three icon together and then if we put an arrow then this will indicate that at neutral position pressure is connected and uh, uh, pressure is uh, closed pressure line is closed and other three ports are interconnected that means reservoir and two sides of the actuator are interconnected and this is for cross connection and this is for straight connections ok. So, that is simple valve now what we find along with that these two lines are there this indicates this is infinite positions valve now this is usually for copying machines and other things it is you can say this is a some sort of servo valve 
So, infinite positions means this is some sort of servo working valve. Now, here again 4 by 3 5 ported cylinder ports open to pressure in center positions DC valves as you can see this one 5 by 2. So, depending on the purpose this valve is also used. Now, symbols for hydraulic valves again some examples and not exclusive we have exhaustive not this one. This is again some repetition of that only thing that you can use this spring say these symbols are repetition, but once it is shown that if you add this one this is called spring center. If you add spring one side it is called usually spring return. Okay. If you show this one this is the hand lever, if you show this dotted line with field arrow hydraulic pilot and if you show this symbol this is solenoid operated and you can use this spring like this or maybe with a cap like this and this is obviously spring centered and solenoid operated both side and here spring return solenoid operated one side. So, with this uh, addition with more detail symbols we what we can add we can add this is basically 4 by 2 DC valve and we have used one spring here what we have used a triangle um, plus a, um, a triangle filled with completely filled and this is in a box and then a dotted line that means this is pilot operated and maybe hydraulic driven also together it is hydraulic pilot operated spring return valve that means this is hydraulic operated hydraulic pilot as well as spring return in that case both the side hydraulic driven and hydraulic pilot operated here this is solenoid pilot operated and uh, there is uh, also hydraulic actuation is there, but this is spring return. In that case as you find in both the sides we have added this one. So, by adding such symbols with this main valve symbols we can also indicate how it is being operated whether it is spring center or not so many things. And as you can see this is uh, the 4 by 2 single acting DC valve in this case uh, hydraulic pilot and uh, pneumatic operation might be there. In that case uh, solenoid is there and as well as hydraulic uh, pilot is there. Now, in case of servo valve as you see in case of servo valve you will find that these with this arrow a flow control is also shown because the it is variable orifice in case of uh, with respect to the directional valve direction control valve the servo flow control valve will have the variable orifice that is meant by this adding this. Okay. Now, also we are adding this one that means this is also pilot operated and this is also variable as well as this is there is a solenoid. Okay. Apart from that we have to put two other lines. So, once we put these two lines uh, along with such things this means that it is completely two stage electro hydraulic servo valve. Why two stage? There will be pilot stage, there will be main stage and it is a servo valve. Okay. So, for that we can use this symbol. Now, say we are coming to the pressure control valve. In case of pressure control valve the simplest one is that puppet function. Uh, first of all we will show this puppet functions. You will find that in many cases a valve is drawn like this that means it is normally closed. In some cases you will find this is there and it is shown like this that means this is open normally open. Now, the direct act acting pressure relief valve are shown like this. So, this will be there normally closed and along with that there will be a symbol like this and this is 
the you can adjust uh, the capacity and in this case if it is a pilot operated in that case you will find a straight lines which can come here or here here means it is open and here means at the top not on that line is closed now <coughs> this is again again pilot op operated pressure relief valve but this one is having one is that this is a closed one this is also another closed one but this is operated by the pilot as well as it is a flow control this is a special feature but you can show uh, this uh, with this together this is a complicated one but best better maintains better pressure relief conditions okay now this one is that pilot operated relief valve external pilot internal drain this is pressure reducing valve this is pressure fixed and variable adjustment this one indicates pilot operated relief valve pressure reducing valve fixed and variable displacement that means once you use these two sign pressure reducing valve is also a pressure control valve pressure relief valve is also a pressure control valve uh, in case of pressure relief valve oil is flowing from this side to this side you will find that the pilot line is from the upstream okay but there is no pilot from the downstream if there is a pilot from the downstream also then this is a pressure reducing function in all pressure reducing functions you will find that it is acting as a pressure reducing valve as well as pressure relief valve so a pressure reducing valve with pressure relief valve totally meant by this one usually you will find wherever you are using a pressure reducing valve there is also a separate relief valve which is connected near the pump so forget about that part but then again where the pressure reducing valve is there the uh, this will be a relief valve inbuilt there because some flow has to go through this pressure relief valve there now this is what is the difference between this and that in that case pilot operated relief valve external pilot external drain you see there is no line from the downstream so this is a relief valve but it looks alike only thing this line is not there external pilot is there as well as external drain is there <laughs> and this one pilot operated pressure reducing valve in that case the relief valve function is not shown so this is a pressure reducing whenever this pilot connection is from the downstream it is a pressure reducing valve and it is very difficult to remember all, all such symbols so we do not expect that you will remember all such symbols but it is just to um, have an idea now this is as you can see this pressure reducing valve with a check valve here this is a remote pressure adjustment direct operated and counterbalance valve looks like this one the sequence valve looks like this ones and unloading valve so why do you are trying to study such valve you should study the circuit along with this and you should spend more time to study such valve this is for your instruction i am just going through that but you should spend more time to learn how these symbols are justified with their function now as you find that pressure reducing valve three positions this is pressure switch as you can see this is one two three positions it is either connected with two or connected with one and three so this is a pressure switch depending on the pressure this will be connected this way or other way the sequence valve external drain sequence valve external drain load varies with back pressure in the tank line so <laughs> uh, there are many uh, things to understand and then to remember such symbols however if you go for circuit design this will be available in your hand you can simply put there but you have to know where to use which one now this is a flow control valve the it is a 
to a pressure compensated flow control valve. So, this line this arrow is there means this is the directions of the flow and this is the three way pressure compensated flow control valve. If, if the box is there perhaps this is a pressure compensated and if it is used without this box perhaps it is not pressure con compensated. This is a throttle valve, throttle valve and the flow control valve is almost is the same function, but in case of throttle valve you may not find it is a simply a flow restrictor. So, that is called throttle valve, whereas flow control valve there is some device the control is there and the excess flow will go to the tank from that valve. In that case the throttle valve that excess flow has to go through this pressure relief valve which is set again a system pressure. That means, in between this throttle valve to pump the pressure will be always to the system pressure it is something like that. So, you have to study in details while you are designing such circuits. The check valve with spring, check valve without spring which I have shown earlier also. In that case in, in now we come to the pump in this pump what we find the a circle and the triangle inside is completely filled in this is a constant flow fixed displacement pump single outlet unidirectional input shaft rotations. And with this one we have not shown shaft it is not necessary always. Now, in this case it is double outlet that means, bidirectional input shaft rotation this is usually either bidirectional shaft rotation is also possible or bidirectional flow is possible simply by changing the swash plate angle this is complicated but you can once you find these symbols you can think of this designation now with this if you use an arrow then with this feature this will be variable displacement in that case in this case it is a fixed displacement here it is uh, the bidirectional with variable displacement and you can see this is uh, the iso symbol is like that for a pump you can compare this with this one now the motor is just reverse the arrow are put in the in the opposite directions and other designations remain same hmm? this is motor arrow going out means pump arrow going inside means motor hydraulic motor now very often we use the term hst that hydrostatic transmission now total hydrostatic transmissions this term meant there is a pump and there is a motor now if it is connected like this this is a closed circuit all systems are say there is a pump and actuator with a directional valve that is also a hydrostatic transmission, but that is open circuit. Now, this is a closed circuit with a variable pump and fixed displacement motor. Now, if in many cases you will find that instead of pipe connections are there, this has simply one input and another output and you will find that this this is a pump side you have connected to an prime mover it is rotating at a constant pitch where by switch by um, manipulating something in between you may find variable output also. So, that is basically inside there is a pump and motor. Hmm. So, this construction is also possible. Now, some sophisticated and hybrid units are like that that both pump and motor you can use that this as a pump as well as motor, but this is only unidirectional whereas, this is hydraulic pump or motor single flow that means, this is either you can use for pump and motor if you just reverse the flow directions here. In that case you can use 
perhaps for both directions to have this pump and motor features. There is some difference between this and that. Uh, this is detailed, you have to study in details with the, with the component and machine. Now, in this case, this is dual rotation. No, perhaps this one I will tell you, this one perhaps that if you rotate in one direction it will act as a pump, if you uh, rotate in the opposite directions that means with the same flow directions, if you use the flow and try to have the output then it will act as a motor. In that case you rotate in one way uh, and you can have this as a pump. And also, this can be used as a motor by changing the valve configuration or something like that. But this is you can say this is again added together. If you this both side is pump and motor, so this will be this will work for dual rotation. And also, we can have such configuration with variable displacement then there are some uh, more that is the some simplified uh, symbols are there. These are usually you would say for example, this already we have learned in that case this is a bidirectional variable displacement pressure compensated. So, pressure compensated means there will be a arrow like this. In that case there is an external drain and this is a Palm unidirectional variable displacement, and this is uh, of course non compensated. In this case, this is compensated, arrow is there, and um, this is bidirectional. Okay. Now, these are the actuators. In this actuator, there is no spring return, here is a, some spring is there. In that case, double acting cylinders. Uh, thin piston rod not e usually under compressions. So, this one we do not use for under compressions, but this we can use for used in under compression. Now, if we add something like this then they, there is a cushion effect. This cushion effect means physical cushion may not be there, it is like that when it is reaching towards the end of the pistons, then there will be a flow restrictor through which the flow will be in such a way very slowly that uh, piston will touch uh, the cylinder. So, there will be some cushioning effect. Now, this is cylinder with adjustable cushions, this cushion can be adjusted that means you can allow to um, collapse faster or um, later. Now, this is again double acting cylinder with adjustable cushions. You can see that if it is a single acting cylinder with adjustable cushions only, no mention whether it is a single acting or double acting. Usually, it is a single acting because no compressive force is applied here for thin rod. In that case, this is double acting, you will find both the lines are here and this is a thick cylinder because this is this can give compressive load as well as tensile load. Now, in this case double rod cylinder, now this cylinder again may be very thick or thin. Okay. Now, this is a telescopic cylinder, in that case it is like that if you allow the oil to go inside then first this one will move because this is having a larger area. So, with a small pressure it will work, then um, when this will be fully extended pressure will gradually increase and with this because this is handling the same load. So, with the smaller cylinder it will move. So, this is a we will get telescopic action where it is used where we are uh, we need very long extension. Um, uh, in that case we use the telescopic one and this is intensifier what we find that if we allow the flow this side with a low pressure we can have uh, much higher pressure this side. Okay. And this is 
we have followed one book this book is available in our library and uh, this is of course the from the net you can download this and you can learn about the ISO symbols. So, thank you for listening. <laughs>